Hi, my name is Taya Burinsma, and I'm the producer-director. And this is the team, Laura Schneider, our cinematographer, and Angus McDonald, our audio engineer and editor. And together, we made Life's a Drag Without Sunshine. And it is dedicated to the Ottawa drag and queer community. Enjoy! I think they take it less seriously because my dad for example he's like well if I want to see a woman dance and sing I'd go see a woman dance and sing you know but it's like it's not about that. I'm Eric. I'm 29 years old and I go by the stage name of Sunshine Glitter Child. I live in Ottawa, Ontario. I don't consider myself just Ottawa. I belong to the world. So my personality differs when I'm in drag uh, in the sense that I'm the same person, but when the makeup's on and the full drag's on, it's like, it's showtime. The, when you transform how you look, it, it'll definitely affect your uh, personality too. So I get very excited and I'm just there to have fun and make people have fun when I'm in drag. A few years ago, like right after high school, when I came out, I was gonna start. At that point, I had gone out and bought a huge pair of Jeffrey Campbell platform heels, a $10 shitty sparkly dress, and a shitty wig, and I was getting ready to make a debut in drag and start doing drag. And then um, my dad actually threw my heels out, I guess, um, and I just sort of like got sidetracked and started focusing on like partying and uh, kind of got away from... Um, wanting to pursue drag just because I was really wanting to protect this like masculine presenting view of myself but like no matter who you are just because you have a bunch of makeup on your face and you physically might look like feel female presenting it just it, it, it doesn't change who you are there's masculine and female energy living inside of all of us at all times um, and drag helps me access that I've always had a, a, a few gay friends or queer friends, um, but I've kind of been out of the scene quite a bit from a from a young age because I just didn't feel like I was um, fitting in with a lot of the people in the in in the queer scene. Uh, but I was younger; I didn't know myself as much then. Now I know who I, I am, and now I'm a queer artist in the front and center of the scene. So um, things have changed quite a bit. child of the glitter child because I'm very immature and I love to play and climb trees and be silly and get in touch with my like younger self that quit dancing uh, when I was 11 years old because I was afraid of what people thought of me. Now I'm a drag queen living my truth and I get to revisit that uh, that little boy who was uh, too afraid of what people thought about him to be dancing. Wow, look at that white popping out when you put that powder on, it looks so good. So my goal when I do my makeup is definitely not to look like a real, realistic woman. I'm not trying to convince anybody that I'm a woman. Uh, I don't care if I look obviously like a man. I just want to create like a drag masterpiece.
but I definitely like have not bought men's clothes in over a year because I have to save my money for uh, my costumes and stuff. So there is a little bit of like a uh, disconnect from Eric uh, because I'm focusing so much on sunshine. It costs a lot of money to do this, so it's it's hard to do it as a hobby, you know, and uh, especially to look like this. I feel good. Drag makes me feel like really good. Uh, it makes me excited. Uh, it makes me want to go out and, and share it with people. My drag is all about like love and kindness and joy and like just overall positivity. But I can fully admit that I'm, I'm not perfect, but my drag persona is like a reminder to always circle back to becoming uh, that uh, loving person full of light.